Hey everybody, this is Ian O'Byrne again. I'm taking a look at a site that I use, actually a series of sites that I use to stay regularly informed to make sure that as I read online, I'm reading across multiple sources. So I'm really understanding the, the, the depth and complexity of the stories that I'm reading. And part of the challenge in this is that we see that, you know, there are algorithms that basically push back against what we're reading online or they limit what we're reading um, you know if we primarily get our news from Facebook or from other sources we're pretty much just taking as gospel what those sources are presenting to us so we don't really know if we're getting the full side of the story um, or if we're just seeing some spin or propaganda or to use a term that's been you know too often used at this point you know if we're just reading fake news so one of the tools that I use to make sense of all this is uh, TechMeme and these news aggregators. So if we take a look at what is actually TechMeme, um, TechMeme is basically, it's labeled as a technology news aggregator. I'm into technology, I read it uh, relentlessly. Um, and so what we're looking at is it's a one page aggregated filtered archivable summary in real time of what's new and generating conversation. So I don't add my uh, info to this in any way. Uh, in another video, I talk about Nuzzle. Nuzzle takes my sources and my stream and it personalizes it. This basically just looks at what's happening in a given area and pulls it all together and basically tells you this is what most people are talking about and writing about. Um, so questions that we have about it, you know, we don't know as much as uh, the 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 algorithms and the the design behind or the software behind the the website to make it run so we can have questions about you know well what's happening how are these algorithms identifying that this is the most important story here so, and we should have questions about that but then also um, in terms of things that are new and generating conversation one of the questions that we have to ask is well who is generating those conversations you know who is you know what voice is more important than another um, and yes if I am a, a, a technology writer for the New York Times my voice on it on a certain matter you know might be a little bit more important than somebody else's but we have to have thoughts about okay are there voices that are not being heard in this um, and and so understanding those two caveats um, I still value TechMeme and I still value this aggregator, um, but this is one source of information. Um, so I'm just on the Wikipedia page. I can see that, you know, this was built by Gabe Rivera back in the day. And you can search online. There's a lot of different stories about how this works and how and who reads it and how beneficial this is. Um, but let's let's dig into it. So TechMeme is pretty simple as you get loaded in. Um, I'm at TechMeme.com. I can see new feeds that you know pop up over here. So if something is happening real time. I might look at it there. Once again, this is all just technology information. So I can look through and I can see. I'm going to ignore the the sponsored posts there, the ads, and I'm going to ignore the newest pieces over here. The way that I typically look at all this is I'll look at okay, this is more news about the Equifax um, breach, and I can see that. Here's like our main story, and then as sub stories pop up, they'll come and they'll basically be indented or tabbed over a little bit. So I can see that there's a story, and then there's sub stories off of this main story, and I can pay attention to, um, you know, what people are saying about this uh, this story up above. So I can see this intercept story. Um, where is the intercept story? Uh, I thought I saw something. Um, so I can see that these are stories that are sub stories to it. And then what I, what I can also do is if I click on the more, I can see what other people are writing and saying about this story here. Okay. So that's one of the things that I like is that we see a lot of stories that people will jump in and they'll sort of like, repost or they'll pull information from one initial source and then they'll sort of repost and retalk about it um, but for me it's valuable to see what is the original story and then what are other perspectives on that original story okay so as I scroll down 
I can see other news. And once again, this is all technology related news. I can see all of the big stories. So I can see the, the Apple launch that's occurring today, um, different updates and things happening in technology. So very quickly, I can scroll through and see things that I'm interested in and I want to know more. Um, if I want to, I can click on the river and see in real time when these stories are coming out. But once again, this is too much information for me right now. I'd rather have it all clustered together so I can make sense of it. So if I want to go to a story, you know, that looks interesting to me, I can click on the story itself. I can go down and see the tweets that people have or things that they share about it or responses to it. Or I can just go right to the story itself and click on the link and it'll bring me right to it. So I can very easily, let me go back one. I can very easily go to the primary source and see what people have said, but then also at the same time, they give me a little bit of information here. And then I can also learn through, you know, the other tweets that people share. So it's tech meme. I check in two, three times a day to see what's happening see what's happening in the world of tech and if there's anything I want to drill down into a little bit more. If there's a big event in technology, you can see what people are writing and saying about it. So once again, like today, there's a big Apple launch. Uh, some, you know, this will take over the, the page of tech memes. So there'll be like five or six major stories and then you'll see sub stories and tweets all about it. And it's real time what people are talking about and writing about. I also there's other versions of this news aggregator that are out there that I that I really check into regularly. And, and before I move on, the mobile version is excellent. So you pull this up on your uh, mobile browser and it works uh, really well. There's other versions of this that I use and check in with daily. So I can see Media Gazer, Memorandum and We Smirch. Um, there's other versions out there. There's baseball versions, there's sports ones, but the ones that I check out. Uh, the Wii Smirch, the Dirt Digger, I don't really pay any attention to this. Um, I, sorry. Um, I do spend a lot of time checking in with Media Gazer, which is like media literacy and uh, a little bit of pop culture. But if you're looking, if you're interested in media information science, which I am, this has regular good stories that basically let you see behind the scenes what's happening in media and culture and pop culture and the news. Um, this is important for me as I make sense of how we read and write and communicate online. What are things that are occurring from the media side so that I can make sure that I stay informed? Um, and then the last one that I use a lot is memorandum or memorandum, sorry. And this is a political look. So if you are interested in reading more and expanding your understanding of uh, political information, Obviously, if you're paying just if you're paying attention to uh, Facebook or Twitter, um, you know, especially Facebook, you're seeing one version of the story. If you're only watching one news channel, if you're watching Fox News or CNN or MSNBC or whatever else, wherever else you're reading online, you might wonder what side of the story are you getting? So if you take that same thinking, as we saw with tech meme and we look at this meme or random I can look at a story that's happening in uh, politics and say, okay, well, what are other people saying about this story so that I can see, okay, is there uh, quote unquote fake news? So if I scroll through and this is all, you know, supposedly automatically generated, I can look through and I can see the top stories and then I can see sub stories. So this helps me think through the stories that are out there. But then also, once again, if I look at the discussion happening there, I can see the tweets and other things that people are saying about that story. So I can go in and I can say, okay, uh, let's take one story that uh, hopefully won't have anything offensive. There we go. Something offensive. Um, but if I look through, so let's, let's have this piece here, insects attack the swarm of bugs. Hopefully no one's offended by this. Um, so I can look in, I can go right to the story. I can see what other people didn't want to go there. So if I hover over that story, 
I can see what the source was. So the nice thing is if I see a story that I want to learn more about, I can click down and I can see what other other, you know, websites and blogs and news sources are saying about it. So the nice thing is that if there's a story that might not uh, that that most likely has multiple sides to the story, I can go in and see what other people are writing and saying about it. So I can see different perspectives. And a lot of times I'll see perspectives that I don't have, but I want to be able to see what people are writing about and people are sharing so I can see what are the different points of view. So if I look at this story, you know, about uh, the political election, I can say, okay, well, what's being said here? And then what do other people say about it? So what other information is being shared? So I can look through other tweets and news and reports that are happening all related to this initial story. Um, so it's nice. I can, you know, see other points of view that I don't really have. Um, and see what people are writing about and saying about it from their perspective. So it helps me think through um, the different parts of the story and try and unpack what real quote-unquote truth is. So these are all news aggregators. These are all um, you know real-time sources to show us what's important and how we can pay attention. Uh, the ones that I really follow, uh, I pay a lot of attention to TechMeme and check it regularly. Uh, I also spend a lot of time on Meme Random if I'm interested in political news, and then Media Gazer if I'm interested in media information literacies um, and and sort of what's happening out there uh, in these spaces. So I use these pretty regularly. I check them on my browser. Uh, I check them on my mobile browser as well. There's no need to have an app to go along with it, but it's something that. I check in with two, three times a day, see what information is out there. And if I'm trying to drill down into a story, so if I'm trying to learn more about a story um, and what other people are saying about it, I can see other stories related to it and see other perspectives. And for me, that's valuable. So hopefully this video was valuable for you. If so, give it a thumbs up. Give me comments if I messed up anything. I'm sure there's tons of stuff in there. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And thanks a lot for paying attention.